Hello everyone, welcome to MedDiaries YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the anatomy of stomach covering the subtropics. Gross anatomy of stomach, blood supply of stomach, lymphatic drainage of stomach, development of stomach, nerve supply of stomach and finally the microscopic appearance of stomach. Gross anatomy of stomach. Stomach is the most dilated part of the alimentary canal. It is located in left hypochondrial, left epigastric, and umbilical regions. Stomach is completely invested by the peritoneum. It is a muscular bag like structure. The right pole of the stomach is called as lesser curvature, and the left pole is called as greater curvature. The gastroesophageal junction is called as cardia. Cardia lies 2.5 cm left to the midline at the 10th level behind the 7th costal cartilage. The gastroduodenal junction is called as pylorus. In the recumbent position of empty stomach, pylorus lies right to the midline at L1 plane which is transpyloric plane. The stomach has three parts, fundus, body, and pyloric part. Fundus is part above the level of cardia. It is contact with the left dome of the abdomen. It contains swallowed air. The body is the largest part, extends from level of cardia to the angular incision, a notch in the lesser curvature. Then the pyloric part divides into two. The proximal part is called as pyloric antrum and the distal part is called as pyloric canal. The prepyloric vein of Mayo is using to identify the pylorus at during surgeries. The structures behind the stomach forms stomach bed. They are left dome and left crust of diaphragm, aorta, splenic artery, spleen, splenic flexure of colon, transverse mesocolon, body of pancreas, upper part of left kidney, left supranal glands. The posterior wall of stomach is covered by the peritoneum of the anterior wall of lesser sac and the posterior wall of lesser sac covers the stomach bed. So, if there is a gastric ulcer, it may drain to the lesser sac. Blood supply of stomach. The arteries supplied to the stomach are derived from celiac trunk. The lesser curvature of the stomach is supplied by left gastric artery and right gastric artery. The upper part of the greater curvature is supplied by six short gastric arteries. The rest of the greater curvature is supplied by left gastroepiploid artery and right gastroepiploid artery. These arteries lie in between the peritoneal attachments of stomach. So, lesser omentum contains left and right gastric arteries. The greater omentum contains left and right gastroepiploid arteries. Gastrosplenic ligament contains six short gastric arteries and left gastroepiploid artery. Posterior gastric artery also contribute to the arterial supply of stomach. I have attached a chart about the branches of the abdominal aorta so you can get a clear idea about these branches. The veins accompany arteries and drains to the portal vein and superior mesenteric vein. The prepyloric vein of Mayo, which is not accompanied by an artery, drains to the right gastric vein. The lymphatic drainage of the stomach. The lymph from the lesser curvature drains to left and right gastric nodes. The lymph from the upper left quadrant of stomach drains to the pancreaticosplenic nodes. The lymph from the greater curvature drains to the subpyloric nodes. 
The limb from the pyloric part trains mainly to the hepatic nodes on the porta hepatis. And also, they may train to the right gastric nodes and subpyloric nodes. All the limb from stomach eventually drains to the celiac nodes. In gastric carcinomas, rarely the supraclavicular lymph nodes may pathology. Development of stomach. The stomach develops as a fusiform dilatation from the foregut. It undergoes two rotations. The first rotation occurs 90 degrees on a longitudinal axis in clockwise direction. Because of this rotation, the left side becomes anterior and the right side becomes posterior. Vagal trunks also follow the above rotation. The growth rate of the left border is more than the growth rate of the right border. Because of that, the left border becomes the greater curvature and the right border becomes the lesser curvature. The second rotation occurs on the anterior posterior axis in clockwise direction. Due to this rotation, cardia moves little down and left while pylorus becomes little above and right. Nerve supply of stomach. The sympathetics are was a motor and controls the pyloric sphincter contraction. They are accompanied by apparent pain fibers. The parasympathetic fibers controls motility and the gastric secretions. They are supplied by vagal trunks. The anterior vagal trunk mainly consists of left vagus fibers and it gives off a hepatic branch and also it gives gastric branches to fundus and body. Its anterior nerve of latitude supplies to the pyloric antrum and to pyloric sphincter. The posterior vagal trunk mainly consists of right vagal fibers. It gives a celiac branch and also it gives gastric branches to fundus and body. The posterior nerve of latitude only supplies to the pyloric antrum and not to the pyloric sphincter. It is important to know that only the anterior vagal trunk supplies to the pyloric sphincter. The vagotomy is a clinical procedure to reduce the gastric secretions. There are three types of vagotomies. First one is transfer vagotomy. Here, the vagal trunks are cut at the level of abdominal esophagus. Second method is selective vagotomy. Here, the anterior and posterior vagal trunks are cut after given the hepatic branch and celiac branch. In these two methods, we can reduce the gastric secretion but gastric stasis may occur due to the impaired nerve supply to the pyloric sphincter. The third method, highly selective vagotomy, we cut the vagal fibers only to the fundus and body. So, the pyloric sphincter nerve supply is intact, so the gastric stasis will not occur. Microscopic appearance of stomach. The stomach shows the basic pattern of the alimentary canal. There are four layers of the wall of stomach. They are serosa, muscularis externa, submucosa and the mucosa. Serosa is consist of loose connective tissues of peritoneum. Muscularis externa consists of smooth muscle. 
There are three layers of smooth muscles in muscular externa of stomach. They are outer longitudinal layer, middle circular layer, and inner oblique layer. Then the submucosa consists of connective tissues. Then the mucosa also have three layers muscularis mucosa, lamina propria, and the inner epithelium. The epithelium is a simple columnar endothelium. There are gastric pits that drain the gastric glands. They are more deeper in the fundus and body parts. There are no goblet cells in stomach. Mucus neck cells secrete mucus. There are parietal cells which secrete HCL and intrinsic factor and the chief cells secrete pepsinogen. Neuroendocrine cells secrete serotonin. The G cells which are numerous in pyloric part secrete gastric. When the stomach is empty, the mucosa forms temporary folds called as rugae folds. When the stomach is full with food, these folds disappear. There are two nerve plexus. First one is Meissner's plexus. It is located between the longitudinal and circular muscle layers. And the next one is myotonic plexus. It is located between the submucosa and muscular sector. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and keep following our website. Thank you.